let us worship God. O oh Lord, open our lips. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent in his presence. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving to hear and receive his holy word to bring before him the needs of the world to ask his forgiveness of our sins and to seek his grace and through his son Jesus Christ we may give ourselves to his service let us confess our sins to almighty God if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us let us in silence examine ourselves before the Almighty God. Let us humbly confess our sins together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and in deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of our son Jesus Christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in inness of life to the glory of your name Amen Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins Confirm and send you in all goodness Amen. and keep you in life eternal Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The psalm for this service is Psalm 29 and it shall be read responsibly Psalm 29 Ascribe to the Lord you sons of heaven Ascribe to the Lord glory and mind Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to his name Where is the Lord all the beauty of his holiness The voice of the Lord is upon the waters The God of glory thunders The Lord upon the great waters the voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is the glory of the voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar tree. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. May them see like a cow, Lebanon and Sion and the like young man and ox. The voice of the Lord divides the lightning flash. The voice of the Lord wise the sons of the desert. And the Lord whistled the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord rang the desert of the trees and the streets. There the forest is set forth of bright glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as a king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give to his people the blessing of peace. for this service 
is taken from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 8, reading from verse 22. Proverbs chapter 8, reading from verse 22. The Lord posed me in the beginning of his ways, before his works of the Lord, of the hold. I was set off from everlasting from the beginning, or ever the heart was, when there were no depths. I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, why as yet he had not made the heart, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heaven, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountain of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the heart. This is the word of the Lord. Our second lesson is taken from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. John, chapter 14, begin from verse 8. John, chapter 14, verse 8. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And I will say, Thou then show us the Father. Believest thou know that I am in the Father, the Father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. This is the word of the Lord.
We thank God for today, for giving us the opportunity to be in His presence. And I want to thank the Lord Bishop for the opportunity to stand before the people of God to minister the word of the Lord. My Lord, I pray the Lord will continue to renew your strength on a daily basis in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give all the glory. Thank you for sparing our life to see this day. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, as we go into your world, Father, we pray, illuminate our hearts. And as we listen to your word, minister to us. And at the end, let your name be glorified. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. This morning, we are considering this topic. The triangle God at work. Today is Trinity Sunday. Last week, we celebrated the Pentecost Day. We pray that the Lord will perfect his work over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is Trinity Sunday. The day we celebrate the triumph God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our text is taken from John chapter 14. We want to look at verses 8 to 10. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father. And it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, If I have been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip, you who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me, Boys, the world. The triangle is at work. Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. He is the complete revelation of what God is like. Jesus explained to Philip, who wanted to see the Father, that to know Jesus is to know God. The search for God, for truth and reality ends in Christ. The doctrine of the, of the Trinity means that there is one God who eternal exists as three persons, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. God is one in essence and three in person. This simply means that the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are one. Each person is fully God. There is only one God. The Bible speaks of the Father as God. Philippians chapter 1 verse 2. Jesus as God. Titus chapter 2 verse 13. And the Holy Spirit as God. Acts chapter 5 verses 3 to 4. Trinity in Christian doctrine. The unity of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. As three persons in one God head. The doctrine of the Trinity is considered to be one of the central Christian affirmations about God. It is rooted in the fact that God came to meet us in a threefold figure. One, as creator, Lord of the history of salvation, Father and judge. Two, as the Lord who in the incarnate figure of Jesus Christ live among human beings and was present in their midst as the resurrected one. Three, as the Holy Spirit whom they experience as the helper or intercessor in the power of the new life. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Today, many who are not Christians Often says Christian worship three gods, but it is not. Christian worship only one God. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit involved in the creation of the world. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, 
the heart was without form and void and darkness was on the face the deep and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the water coming to verse 26 then god said let us make man in our own image according to our likeness the plural construction makes it sound like god is talking to someone else because he is according to joseph speaks in the beginning the head of the gods called a council of the gods and they came together and prepared a plan to create the world and people the council included jesus and others in john chapter 14 verse 10 jesus said do you not believe that i am in the father and the father in me the words that i speak to you i do not speak on my authority but the father who dwells in me does the world the coming of jesus to the world was original plan was original plan of god to save man from destruction in this dispensation our god is at work through the power of the holy spirit god the father built the house and when the house faced a lot of challenges god the son jesus christ came to put the house in order later god the holy spirit came to sustain the house dear people of god our god is at work you only need to allow him to possess you when jesus was about to leave did he leave the disciples he promised them that he will send the comforter that will dwell with them the presence of the holy spirit in your life symbolizes the presence of god the holy spirit has been active among people from the beginning of time but after pentecost he came to live in all believers the presence of god and his word and his spirit in you makes you a christian the presence of god and his word and his spirit in you makes you a christian without his word you cannot without his word you cannot be a christian many today do not value the word of god i ask you do you value god's word john chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the world and the world was with god and the world was god the word of god is jesus in psalm 29 verse 4 the voice of the lord the voice of the lord is powerful the voice of the lord is full of majesty verse 5 the voice of the lord breaks the cedars verse 7 the voice of the lord divides the flames of fire verse 8 the voice of the lord shakes the wilderness the lord do you value the word of god do you obey his word do you allow his word to direct your life let me say this if you don't value god's word it means you don't value him you see when we take our food and when we allow the food to digest definitely the food will benefit the body it will give the body energy help the body to grow likewise when you allow the word of the lord to digest in you definitely the word of the lord will affect your life affect your mind affect your thinking even it will affect your vision you will not see the way people of the world sees that's it that is the word of the lord john chapter 15 when we look at verse 5 the lord said i am the vine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bear much fruit for without me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is cast out as a branch and is withered 
and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are born if you abide in me and my words abide in you you will ask what you desire and it shall be done to you the three god the father god the son and the holy spirit must be present in your life they are inseparable it is a must for all of us to know god understand his word allow his spirit to direct us today we see the devil at work does it mean god is not existing our god is alive ancient of days almighty god lion of the tribe of judah maker of heaven and earth the one who shut and no one can open the one who opened that no one can shut he makes a way where there is no way he has power to take life and power to restore our god is alive what we are passing through in nigeria today he knows everything about it and the solution lies in his hand what we need now is to go back to god ask for his forgiveness don't you think we need the power of god to deliver us from all this evil happening in our society when the prodigal son allowed the things of this world to drive him away from his father he thought he was enjoying but later he faced the consequence and when he done on him to seek the forgiveness from his father and before the arrival of the prodigal son his father had been waiting for him therefore god is waiting for us in nigeria to come back to him the prodigal son was restored and decorated the same thing can happen to us in nigeria if we repent god will restore all our losses people of god are you ready to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior if you want to see the triumph god at work in your life you need to do this one surrender your life to jesus christ confess your sin repent of your sin ask for his forgiveness ask for god's mercy upon your life determine to spend the rest of your life with him read the word of god go to church where the true word of god is being preached lastly in all our churches in this diocese every monday that is bible study go there through that you are able to grow reading the word of god listening to the word of god you are able to grow let me close this sermon by reading this john chapter 14 i want to read from verse 15 if you love me keep my commandments and i will pray the father he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you i will not leave you orphans i will come to you a little while longer and the world will see me no more but you will see me because i live you will also live all that day you will know that i am in my father and you in me and i in you he who has he who has my commandment and keeps them it is he who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and manifest myself to him let us pray thank you father thank you for this message lord we pray we have listened to your word we pray father you will minister life to us you will change our life for better father we pray after this message lord we pray we will continue to see you doing wonders in our life oh lord you have done it before father we pray this message will not go in vain but lord you will walk through this message and bring us to your glory through christ our lord amen
response to the word of God that we have had, we are going to reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and heart, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. In the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on heart as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And you, your ministers, with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. They call it for Trinity Sunday and other colleagues. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servants grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore be defended from all adversities through Jesus Christ our Lord who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Put us firm in this faith, that we may know you in all your ways, and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons in one God, now and forevermore. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, the knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your good servant, in all our sort of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In the continuation of our prayer, we shall pray for our country, Nigeria, the Church Universal, and other prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, the Father of us all, the giver of all that is good, we give you thanks for our nation, Nigeria. We thank you for your faithfulness upon us. We thank you for our sustenance. We thank you for the residual peace we enjoy on a daily basis. So, Lord, we ask that you receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Almighty God, to inspire the people of this land with the spirit of justice. We ask that you beautify us with the spirit of truth and love, 
so that in all our dealings with one another we may show that together we are one in you this we ask through jesus christ our lord Amen. almighty we believe in your supremacy and we therefore ask you O lord to use our president muhammad his vice yemi the governor of this state and all that are in the seat of authority that you will use them to lead the affairs of this nation in the way that by your voice you will write judgment upon all the enemy of our country nigeria that we may be in peace this we ask through jesus christ our lord father of all we give you thanks we appreciate you our heavenly father we know that you show your son as a token for our redemption we pray that through his love you will redeem our land from poverty you will give us charity and a heart of obedience you will strengthen your church to follow the pattern of your son's life that by our prayers and service your church may be enriched through jesus christ our lord we are also counting on your kindness as we pray that you will use our leaders the leader of our church as we use primate henry our hag bishop bamishibi our bishop babatunde and all your servants in your service that you will use them to instill peace and justice in our church that by their selfless service your church can live victoriously in a time like this this we ask through jesus christ our lord Amen. father of all that is good and glorious we give you thanks for your for our lives we thank you for the privilege you have given to us to witness to be part of all this season we have had before and this new one we are starting today which is trinity season as we start this season we pray that as we are starting it you will strengthen us to see the hand thereof in the name of jesus we pray that you will by your voice bless our life with your peace in the name of jesus we pray that by your voice you will give us strength in the name of jesus you will comfort those that are bereaved in the name of jesus you will heal those who are wounded in the name of jesus and at the end of our sojourn here on earth we pray we will have our habitation with rest in your kingdom in the name of jesus brethren let us go before the lord and make our petition known to him if we come to him in faith he promised us that he will grant unto us all our requests. Let's make our request known to him with faith that he will hear us. And as we are praying, let's pray for the victim of our massacre that God of peace will restore peace in that community. And the affliction will not befall the church of God again in the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy yes, almighty god you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplications and you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name we will grant their request fulfill now lord the desires and petition of your servant as may be more expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come the fullness of eternal life as one family, let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>
God our Father, all things come from you, and of thy own do we give you. Please, Lord, accept and bless these gifts which we have brought to you. Bless the work of our hands and minister to the needs of the needy. And may we continue even to revel in your blessing. Accept us and our offering and open the windows of heaven upon our endeavors this week. Pray for as many as are in covenant. You will say yes and amen to their desires in the name of Jesus. And together with them, we shall rejoice in your presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. This week, we are praying with the voice of the Lord. Psalm 29, verse 4. The Bible says, The voice of the Lord is mighty in oppression. The voice of the Lord is glorious. Let's talk to the Lord in prayers as we close this service. Speak your voice to the situation of Nigeria. Let your voice speak to the situation in my business. Speak to my family. Speak to my life. Your voice is mighty in operation. Speak your words to the darkness of our world. Let your voice speak to the darkness of our nation. And I pray as you go this week, may the voice of the Lord speak to your life. May the voice of the Lord speak to your situation. May the voice of the Lord speak to your health. May the voice of the Lord speak over the life of your children. And the Bible says the word of God will accomplish that for which it is said. The word of God will prosper. I pray that the word of God will prosper in our land in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, in all things, your voice will speak to our situation. Amen. The peace of God with passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessings of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be amongst you and remain with you always. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. And Jesus said to them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We will proclaim, we will proclaim, our yoke day. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. May the Lord bless your week. Thank you.